What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite for a bit of a variety video here for you guys late tonight. We're going to be talking about the new post from Treyarch, upcoming trailers, and even the early download for Season 4 Reloaded. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because about 65% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So make sure you guys are getting notifications every time I update you on Black Ops Cold War. But am I a broken record here? Do we always have double XP events nearly every single weekend? So as expected, Treyarch confirmed they're kicking off Season 4 Reloaded with a new double XP and the weapon an XP weekend starting on 10 a.m. Pacific, July 16th through the 19th. So take advantage of that while you guys can. There's about a month left of this season for you guys to hit max level and to finish your season four battle pass. But yesterday I posted a breakdown of the new roadmap and blog post covering all the coming DLC. I'll have that video linked down below in the description. We went through quite a bit in regards to multiplayer zombies and of course Warzone. But as Jack reminded us earlier today, coming to multiplayer and zombies in season four reloaded, we have new weapons, the OTS 9 SMG at launch and the Mace in season we have a new daily double xp token reward new prestige shop blueprints the tracer pack weaver operator bundle later in season and a high resolution texture pack for the ps5 multiple to be exact and does say note ps5 players will be prompted to download the new high resolution texture packs for the best visual experience these will no longer be installed by default and will need to be downloaded manually if you skip the download these will be available for download via the store but before we continue with the rest of season 4 reloaded let's take a look at the sponsor of of tonight's video. In case any of you guys out there are bored or down bad because of the pandemic, then you can easily find someone to talk with on the Olive Video Chat app. If you don't have any friends to play Call of Duty with, or if you're looking for people who share your interests, then you can download the Olive Video Chat app using the special link in this video's description. With Olive Video Chat, you can meet new friends and people all over the world. So, if you want to share your thoughts with other like-minded people, or if you're just looking for entertainment, then Olive is the app for you. The app blew my mind with how easy it is to use, as you can also stream to the app to find other like-minded individuals who may also be in your shoes. If the pandemic hurt your social skills, then I would definitely recommend giving this app a shot with the link that is down below in the description. Thank you to Olive for sponsoring tonight's video. Now, when it comes to trailers for Season 4 Reloaded, it almost blew my mind that we haven't really gotten any gameplay coverage of this new update, aside from the Modern Totem reveal, of course. Typically, we get a good Reloaded trailer showing gameplay of all the modes, what to be expected. We also haven't gotten an Inside Modern Totem video, which they typically post a good two days before the launch of a map. That's what they did for Firebase a couple of months ago so today was of course or earlier today was exactly two days before the launch of this map so i was hoping for that video but maybe they'll end up dropping it at some point a few hours for the launch of the map itself so they'll take a couple of minutes to sit down talk about the map show us some new gameplay and give us a bit of an idea as to what direction they're going in for the future of the story we also haven't gotten a studio broadcast for reloaded just yet so any one of those three trailers i mentioned could drop in the next 12 ish hours be on the lookout for that i'll be covering that on stream of course when i go live at some point i would say what a good maybe 18 hours from now i'll be doing a bit of a countdown stream playing some open lobbies with you guys in black ops cold war some Warzone as we prepare for the launch of this reloaded update and once it goes live of course we'll be jumping straight into modern toy which i'm very excited about but i do have some other spicy content on the way that'll be getting posted before the launch of this dlc so be on the lookout for that you do not want to miss out on exactly what i have in store for you guys we also have weaver confirmed in season as i went over but we do have the preview animation for this operator pack as you can see has been revealed with the latest updates and you guys probably know Notice the update was installable as of tonight, at least if you're on PlayStation, but the new maps aren't available yet. I know that it's a bit confusing every time a new update drops, but it's the same system just about every single season, where a good 24 hours for the launch of the content, the download itself becomes installable, where you get a bit of a taste as to what to expect with the new update. So if you install the new update tonight, you will see the new main menu updates for zombies, of course, and the prestige shop has already been updated with those exclusive blueprints that you can unlock by using your prestige keys. Luckily, they only cost three keys to unlock there's two blueprints right now that are available in that shop as you guys can see so nothing too crazy was added tonight but i think it's uh, a bit of a head start in case you guys want to get that download out the way so you can immediately play the new content as soon as tomorrow trick also confirmed that the new kill streak is in fact going to remain in black ops cold war but not just in cranked hardpoint in every single mode in the game minus a couple of them that are obvious of course like multi-team cdl but for a majority of the main modes upon getting 30 kills as we're used to you will then unlock the nuke kill streak, which will not end your game. Instead, it'll work like Modern Warfare 3, the Moab, where it just kills everybody in that match. And then you continue on with 
the rest of your game. I had a ton of fun getting the new kill streak and cranked hardpoint, but if you're not a fan of that mode, then now you can take advantage of it in any mode that you want, which is fantastic. We of course have the new cranked mosh pit also launching with reloaded, which will incorporate cranked TDM and cranked kill confirmed, changing up the pace a little bit if you're not a fan of cranked hardpoint. But this is great. I mean, it's not modern warfare, but I definitely think the nuke itself fits very perfectly with Cold War, obviously with the theme of the arms race, of course. And when they first introduced it in season three reloaded, I'm like, wow, this has to stay, at least if it's in a single mode or something. But luckily, this is the fan feedback and say, you know what? We're gonna go against our tradition and keep it in the entirety of a Treyarch multiplayer for the first time in their multiplayer history. So I'm wondering what the nuke's gonna be in World War II Vanguard. Will it be a reskin of the V2 rockets? Who actually knows? But in regards to Onslaught, we got a reveal as to what to expect with that zombie update is season 4 reloaded it says and on playstation zombies receives its 20th onslaught map with exclamation points with the addition of rush complete with new dark ether story intel to unlock players can jump into the insane new onslaught accelerated mode featuring an endless barrage of enemies that never stop spawning and a dark ether orb that never stops moving killing enemies even increases the speed of the orb for a short period so the action truly never stops as an exclusive bonus you'll be rewarded with the contaminate lmg weapon blueprint if you're tough enough to survive 20 surges in Onslaught Accelerated, good luck. And as I said before, PlayStation will end up dropping their own trailer covering Season 4's new Onslaught update. They'll probably end up dropping the next day or two, as they usually do with every single Onslaught update. So we can look out for that one. But like they said, 20th Onslaught map. We still have a good two and a half seasons to go for this game cycle, if not maybe more. We're going to have maybe 25 plus, if not more maps to play. So if you guys out there were just waiting for this mode on Xbox and PC, you're going to have a lot of content to play through, especially when this comes out. I would say a good couple of days at least if you don't rush through all the maps and go for a gold chalice on all of them. Now we also got official confirmation of the five mule kick tiers that we're going to see once Maruto ends up releasing. And here's the thing, right? We already knew about the tiers because of some curious Georges in the community who posted a couple of these tiers a bit early. Again, not sure how that's even possible, how people get their hands on information like this, but luckily Treyarch confirmed all of it today in case you guys were doubting any of that. So the base ability, carry a third primary weapon, skill tier one, crafted equipment grants an additional equipment if able skill tier two all enemies have a small chance to drop ammo skill tier three stowed weapons slowly refill ammo from stock and skill tier four 25 percent chance to keep non-retrievable equipment when used skill tier five third primary weapon is recovered when repurchasing mule kick so to me this kind of blends together everything we liked about mule kick in previous chair games even infinite warfare as well as a bit of black ops 4 so i'm getting bandolier bandit vibes even vulture aid so all that has been combined for the sake of this perk again perks are gonna get more expensive expensive as the seasons go on as more perks get added it's more expensive to then buy all of them so take advantage of those free perk quests whether you're playing outbreak or even some round based maps but it's like i mentioned in previous videos milky isn't exactly the most useful perk that i can see myself using in cold war but it's great to have in the case you want to hold two wonder weapons in outbreak or three really good high rarity weapons for high rounds you could find some use for this definitely better than tombstone at least in my opinion but really looking forward to double type and phd which should drop at some point in the future but when it comes to big new features and changes as confirmed in the patch notes we have a daily double xp token reward as it says new daily double xp token reward can now be earned by completing your first daily challenge of the day in multiplayer or zombies return each day for a new double xp or double weapon xp token reward you can only earn one double xp token per day if you don't complete a challenge that day you'll miss out on that day's double xp token reward so just something extra to boost your xp a bit as if you even need it because again every single weekend we are getting double xp we have of course a confirmation of the new weapon blueprints in the prestige shop right new content available which is the dark horse smg and the confrontation assault rifle both of which are available for three keys and i'm sure everybody has three keys by now right it, you get a key every single prestige you hit or every 50 levels upon hitting max rank for the season address an issue or challenges that require kills through surfaces would not consistently track kills and they also address an issue that could prevent players from toggling war tracks on and off while in a vehicle they even made some changes to multi-team and some other modes in the game so this is a fairly large update, at least the way I see it. I mean, there's some great updates all across the board for every mode in the game. So I really have to appreciate that. Now, here's what took me by surprise. With multi-team elimination, they said weapons dropped by eliminated enemies will now be considered loot, allowing for easier pickups. Equipment and field upgrades will now be dropped on death. 
improve his ability of supply drop smoke marker, and even some other updates to multi-team in general, which I'll show you on screen. So the thing about this, right, is I've been playing multi-team elimination since it first released. I'm happy to see more quality of life improvements to make the mode better. It is essentially a Blackout 2 within Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. And that's not all. We then have Dead Ops Arcade 3, surprisingly getting even more updates here in Season 4 Reloaded. So they're going to be including the new first-person solo advanced start playlist. I covered that in a previous video not too long ago. The regular advanced start allowed you to have checkpoints while going for the boss fights. They're also adding the mysterious addition of Mama's Armory Basket, plus several gameplay adjustments and stability fixes. We've got even more planned for Dead Ops Arcade 3 in the future, so stay tuned. Again, who would have ever expected this many updates, such a beautiful mode in Black Ops Cold War, this late into the game. So Dead Ops Arcade 4 will probably end up releasing in Treyarch's future future title in like 2026 crazy to think about. And I'm not going to be a text-to-speech content creator right now, so I'm not going to read through all the patch notes and bore you guys. I'll have the full list, of course, linked down below in the description. That was just a brief little recap of some of the main features we're going to be seeing with tomorrow night's updates. So, we then got some surprise early information about the next Call of Duty, which I'm like, wait, when do I actually cover this, right? When is there time to cover this? So, why not incorporate it in the video tonight? So, somebody out there who actually managed to leak Cold War multiplayer early last year has returned on Twitter and has been posting new information about the next Call of Duty. So you can already tell this is probably reliable info. I'm just reporting on this. I'm not leaking anything. This is of course coming from them. But as they reported, look and feel of the game. It'll look nothing like COD World War II in 2017, considering more than likely it's running on the Modern Warfare engine. The gameplay would feel much more like Modern Warfare, but look like Cold War. So the gunplay and movement of Modern Warfare and UI with menus, colors, and graphics of Cold War. So this is a great point that was brought by Call of Duty Hope, which is that we're going to be seeing essentially the best of both worlds, as it seems, with Such Hammer's next project, right? Almost the gameplay and feel of Modern Warfare, but the look of Black Ops Cold War. So this should hopefully please almost everybody, depending on which game you like the most, whether you like multiplayer or zombies as well. Now, when it comes to weapons, we have assault rifles, the BAR and the STG. We have the SMG, Tommy Gun, and MP40. The LMG known as the Becker, probably an LMG. We have the 1911 pistol, of course. Other weapons and things include red dots, stuns, frag grenades. Uh, we have engineer, double time, ghost, tracker, forward intel, field upgrades are back, tax sprint is back, uh, that's unfortunate, uh, gunsmith is back, a lot of attachments again, and also random, intensity preference defines the number of players in a match, 8v8 pubs options, and slipstream is the name of the closed alpha, so some really details there about the next Call of Duty in case you guys are interested, but like I have stressed out many times before, wait until the reveal before judging whatever this project is, I can guarantee you, at least for the campaign, it's going to blow everything out of the water in terms of expectations, in terms of these community theories, and and the negativity. I think the reveals and get everybody very interested, which hopefully then translates to how people react to the multiplayer and zombies reveals, whatever the modes are going to look like, which I'm sure we'll get gameplay of in the next, let me guess, two months-ish. That's kind of lining up with how we got a reveal for Cold War last year. So I'm just hoping that the reveal knocks out of the park and it just surpasses all expectations that currently are out there on the internet. But as to be expected, because of PC having this preload, there is already early gameplay out there of a lot of upcoming content, specifically for Modern Toten. So be aware of spoilers if they aren't your thing when you boot up Twitter or even Reddit. The loading screen's out there, some early round gameplay, and I'm sure much more will be posted over the next couple of hours. So just warning you guys right now, <laughs> it's unfortunately, I guess you could say it's a bit of a double-edged sword. You want PC, you want other platforms to also get the preload at the same time time as PlayStation, but then the trade-off with that is that you're going to get a lot of leaks out there about upcoming information regarding Black Ops Cold War and even beyond. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comment section. Definitely enjoy the Loki finale for tuning into that later tonight. I do have a spicy video dropping at some point. I want to say a good 12-ish hours from now. You don't want to miss out on that. And of course, be live at some point tonight, a good maybe 17 hours from now for the countdown of Season 4 Reloaded, where we're we'll doing some open lobbies and getting ready for the release of DLC 3. Really hope you've enjoyed and... Peace out, everyone. Oh, Steph Curry with the shot, boy.